Now with the price movement ADA at the moment, everyone's getting really excited. It's hit over a dollar US now, but this doesn't stop the misinformation and FUD. And this is one from Justin Bond, a serial fudder of Cardano. Let's have a look at this one here. Here he highlights ADA's transactions per second and the amount of nodes that it has on its network compared to something like Ethereum, which is higher there, or even something like Sui or Nier or Aptos, which have hundreds of thousands of transactions per second. Now, it's probably something really important to note here that each of these chains operate differently. Ethereum, Solana, they're account-based blockchains, so they operate in a different way. One transaction on those chains can only perform one particular action. But if you look at Bitcoin or Cardano, it follows the UTXO model, and it's a different way of doing transactions on chain but chains like Bitcoin and Cardano use the UTXO model, and this works completely differently. And you can think of it this way. When one Cardano transaction gets sent out, within that transaction, you can have other transactions. So I could send one ADA to 100 different people all at the same time in one single transaction. In comparison, Ethereum would have to do that 100 times to be able to scale the way that Cardano can. And a really good website to see the theoretical output of Cardano at the moment is eutxo.org. This gives you some statistics of what is possible based on the parameters that are set at the moment. So we have theoretical output when utilizing the 100% block size at 386 transactions per second. We also have some other interesting stats, and these are actual stats that have occurred on chain. And this is the most scripts in a single transaction, 194 smart contract executions. So that's really, really cool to see. We also have another really interesting stat here, and this is the highest TPS to unique recipients. So this is that one transaction, but sending it to lots of different unique recipients out there, and that's 83 transactions per second. So it's a lot higher than what Justin here is claiming with 18 transactions per second. Now, Cardano does have more L2 scaling solutions coming really soon as well. 2025, we're going to see an explosion of L2s for Cardano. And this one here, Midgard, there's some brilliant minds and developers working on this at the moment. But Midgard is an optimistic roll-up for Cardano. That is, you can take a dApp that is built on Cardano already, deploy on Midgard, and it will work exactly the same way. So that's the optimistic side of things. The roll-up side means that the transactions that happen on that L2 get rolled back onto the main chain. So we have the value from the L2 inputted back to the main chain itself. And this is all done in a really decentralized way and a trustless manner. So this is a real L2 that a lot of the other chains out there are trying to achieve, but Midgard is going to literally be the first one out there to achieve this decentralized L2 and deploy on Cardano. So this is really exciting and really big developments that, that's happening in this space here. If you wanna learn more about Midgard, check out the website, midgardprotocol.com. There's also videos from the last Cardano Summit in Dubai that talks about Midgard as well. And Phil is on stage there from Midgard talking all about it. Now, Phil has a really interesting comment about Justin's post here in regards to decentralization of nodes. Let me just read a couple of comments that he has. Yes, Solana and Soy and others have higher TPS and thus higher scalability than all the UTXO chains you mentioned. But there is one thing here, and this is a really big thing. Absolutely no one can participate in these super fast networks. And this is because the hardware is so expensive. You need seriously $12,000 worth of hardware, dedicated electricity, gigabit internet and industrial size ventilation and server farms and infrastructure to be able to uh, operate these particular nodes. This doesn't give you a level of decentralization. A, a regular person cannot pick up uh, the hardware here and start being part of the network, unlike it is in the Cardano ecosystem. And let me just show you what some, some hardware that I picked up recently. So this is some old hardware that I picked up recently, and it is a, a HP, uh, I can't remember the specs exactly, but I think it's an i7 with an eight cores in there and 32 gig of RAM and a 512 gig hard drive. I picked this up for less than $300 Australian, and this can run a Cardano node. Seriously, this piece of hardware, I've just thrown it into the, the one of my wardrobes connected to a home internet connection, and this can run the Cardano network and validate blocks. This is the level of decentralization. And one of the really big key things that brought me into the Cardano ecosystem, 
I was looking at ETH mining. I was looking at running Bitcoin nodes. They're all possible and I could set something up, but this was really appealing. I could set this up so easily and get up and running and be part of Cardano. I'm not just sitting on the sidelines trading and talking about it. I run my nodes with this hardware and this is the level of decentralization that I like from the Cardano ecosystem. So Phil makes a brilliant argument about decentralization there. Not all blockchains are the same and Cardano seriously stands out amongst all the rest. So now that you know a little bit more about Cardano's transactions per second and how decentralized it is in comparison to other chains out there, use this information, share it out next time you see FUD like this, anyone trying to spread fear, uncertainty and doubt, or doesn't understand why Cardano looks like it has really low transaction speed per second. Show them this video, show them the notes here, and then hopefully that will change their minds and give them a better understanding of exactly how Cardano is really well positioned compared to other blockchains out there. I want to do a big shout out for the guys at Oz CryptoCon running the Intersect Cardano booth. It looks absolutely amazing, guys. You do, you're, you're doing a brilliant job there. I wish I was there playing Doom, uh, potentially winning that 100,000 USDM in prizes. But overall, it's looking really good. So good work, guys. Thank you so much for putting in all the time and effort to organize that. We also have Phil from Empower and Amplify working the stage as well. So good work there, Phil. Absolutely love seeing what you're doing. And last but not least, the merch is absolutely awesome. So big shout out to the guys there that are working at that Intersect stand at Oz CryptoCon. You guys absolutely rock. And hopefully I do get this cap. Be awesome to have it there on the collection behind me, along with all my other crypto caps and bucket hats. All right, that's all I got for you guys in this update. Big shout out and thank you to all the channel members here. You guys absolutely rock. You keep me addicted to coffee. And big shout out to you guys for coming along and watching every single episode as well. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, click that subscribe button, click that notification bell. I'll see you guys in the next video.